And um, I think we're ready to go. All right. And hopefully um, as we begin, some more parents will join us. Um, but again, um, for all of you um, that have joined us, um, thank you very much. I see a lot of familiar faces and many familiar names. Um, I think you were on uh, some of our other opening meetings, um, but tonight is, is special. Um, it's, it's focused on just the freshmen um, and hoping to give you information um, and answer any questions that you might have as your children transition um, from the middle school to the high school. Um, it's a pretty big deal. It's a big time um, when your children uh, go off to the high school. I'm sure it seems like yesterday when they were going off to elementary school and it goes by like that. Um, and the next four years are going to fly by. And next thing you know, it, we're gonna be talking about graduation and you're not gonna know what happened. <laughs> Um, but we find that this evening is very helpful. Um, Jill Britton, our lead school counselor, will be facilitating the evening. Um, and you're going to hear from not only our guidance department, but support services and all of the people within the building um, and the district that are here to help your children make a smooth transition um, and help you know um, who we are what we do, um, and how we're here to help and support um, your children so that not only they have a smooth transition, but a great four years while they're here at Westbrook High School. Um, so please take advantage. Don't be shy. Um, we're going to give you as much information as possible and then give you an opportunity to ask questions um, so that you feel comfortable um, sending your students uh, here to the high school. Also, just a reminder, tomorrow is the student portion of the program. We usually do this in conjunction with one another, um, but because we can't be all together, um, we're doing this portion virtually, um, but your freshmen will have an opportunity um, to come to the high school tomorrow at six o'clock. Um, you're going to drop them off. Um, we will make sure that not only do we have adult supervision to ensure our six foot distancing and our wearing of masks, um, but our, our upperclassmen will be facilitating the groups and they're gonna learn about their schedules. They're going to get some advice to freshmen. They're going to hear about all of our activities, clubs and extracurricular activities and get a tour of the building and have a scavenger hunt. Um, so it should be a really fun um, hour or so for them tomorrow night. Um, so without further ado, I'll pass the evening over to Jill Britton. Oh, and I'd also like to mention, welcome Dr. Charles, our interim superintendent. She's on this evening joining our panel. Thank you, Tara. I just want to uh, say hello to all the parents and it's, it's really great to be back in Westbrook. It's, a, it's an honor to be serving you again. And although I'm not here for very long, probably until sometime in December, if there's anything that I can do to, um, to help you in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out. Great, thanks, Pat. Um, thank you, Tara. So welcome everybody. I'm so thrilled that you're all here tonight. And um, we're really looking forward to seeing and meeting all your children um, and getting the school year started, even though it's not um, per usual. Um, but we are going to do the best we can to make them feel comfortable and feel safe in the building or out of the building, what, however things go. Um, and um, we just want you all to know that we have your kids' best interests in, in mind and at heart. Um, and so I wanted to, we have a fabulous um, support staff um, at the high school. Um, and we, I really wanna spend some time letting them, letting myself introduce you to them and also let them talk a little bit about their particular area so that um, you can kind of see where they fit into uh, supporting your children. So um, in the school counseling office or the guidance office, which is kind of the old school term, but um, it is uh, the, our school counseling office. Um, we have myself um, and I am in charge of the 
first part of the alphabet, which is A through K. So I, um, I have nine through 12 in those four, uh, all four years. And um, Sarah Cunningham, who was new to us last year, um, who came to us from Mottville and brings um, a ton of great energy and technology and uh, is a breath of fresh air. Um, she uh, has the second half of the alphabet, which is um, the L through Z. Um, we also are really super fortunate to have an intern with us, Lindsay Eno. She was part-time with us last year and she's gonna continue this year to finish out her school internship. She is um, doing an online program through UMass Boston um, and she has been with us and she lives in town and she has younger children in town. So she's a great asset and has a background in IT. So that's great for me too. Not that it's all about me, but I need help with IT. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of support there. Um, we also um, have Leslie Carson, who has been a fabulous addition to our school counseling office. She brings a wealth of knowledge on the Career Pathways program. She's working really hard to have all of our students have authentic learning in the building with internships and exposure to the community and has done such an awesome job. It was just a shame that we ended up having to go virtual at the end of last year in March because we had so many kids set to go out to wonderful internships in the community that they still have their place there. But, you know, obviously we can't do a whole lot of that right now, but it's she put together a beautiful program. And um, so stay tuned with that. And um, Leslie, um, I'm just going to introduce you, but then I'll come back around. Um, in, in just a minute. So th those are the folks who are in our um, school counseling office, particularly. So I think maybe I've kind of broken it up into chunks. So I think you've heard enough from me. So I'll let Sarah say hello, and then we'll move to, to Leslie. And then um, Lindsay can say a quick hello too, so you can see, put a name with a face. So Sarah, why don't you pop in? Thank you, Jill. Um, that was such a beautiful introduction. You really covered most of the points that I was going to mention. You know, I have the second half of the alphabet. Um, it's my second year at Westbrook High School, and I love it here. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, Jill is clearly the uh, resident expert on the team. She's been here a long time, so I've been following her lead on a lot of things. But um, I'm just so excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to meeting all of your students and mm -hmm. helping them in, in any way I can. You know, it's a, a little bit smaller class, which me and Jill are really excited about because we can give a lot more individualized attention, uh, which I think we really pride ourselves in. So uh, thank you for having me here. And I'm really looking forward to working with everyone. Great, thank you. Um, go ahead. I'll Leslie. say I'll just jump right in if you want me to. Yeah, go right ahead. Hi, everyone. I, I want to say what back in my old teaching days years ago, I love ninth graders. They're my favorite group of students to teach. So I'm I'm always excited when a new class comes in. So um, thank you. I'm happy to be here. My job here at the school, I'm the career college readiness coordinator. We were very specific about putting the career word first instead of college, because no matter what avenue you take or what exit point you have from high school, you're going to have a career. So the career comes first and then some kids go on to college in order to meet those um, the expectations for, for job entry. But my job here at the school is to, along with um, Sarah and Jill, to help the students develop a realistic vision and plan for their future. And we do that with a, a series of activities that will be happening throughout the year. Again, a little different than last year, but they'll still happen. So it, these opportunities for kids to have some career awareness, um, career exploration, career preparation, and then finally career training. And those are the four main um, avenues for getting to career readiness. And we do that. Um, by helping, you know, we help them become more ready by sort of following that path from, from career awareness on. And that really can start at the elementary school. So some, I know at the, at the seventh and eighth grade level, kids have been receiving some career awareness activities and some career exploration as well. But we'll just ramp it up at the high school level and um, kind of make sure that they're really ready to go and decide. So here's what I know. I know um, having worked in lots of different places, um, outside of Connecticut even, the high school students 
tend to really understand the what I call the career trinity. It's like they'll know what a doctor does. They know about an engineer and they know about a lawyer, but that's it. And they don't know about the wealth of other jobs that are out there, including the 48% of the jobs in Connecticut that are still middle skill. In other words, you don't need a four-year college degree to get them. And students just don't know about those. So they don't know how to actually talk about exploring them. So again, the guidance counselors do a good deal of work on that. And then, then I'll just sort of jump in and provide the extra boost for that. And we do that through three main buckets of activities. We have a um, what, what I've called a career connections framework. And so what you'll see in those three buckets, um, first of all, is employers out in the community, in the Westbrook community and the surrounding area, have been helping our teachers align their curriculum more to work-based. So we're, in other words, we're trying to get teachers to help students see how the content that they teach is valuable for their future workforce and, and also for college, obviously. Um, that's one bucket. So we have employers coming in. Um, the Lee Company has been a great partner of ours, and they've come in and worked with our tech ed teachers, for example. We have public health people that have come into the health classes and taught um, about public health. So it's those kinds of things that are happening. I tell you that because if you're a parent and you work somewhere, you can join the party. <laughs> so, of course, those <laughs> kinds of things will be virtual this year, but um, please um, feel free to get in contact with me if you if you feel um, that you have something to offer. And I think you do. If you're working somewhere, there's something that, that you could share with our students. The second bucket is about having those same business partners or different ones actually coming into the classroom. And again, that'll be virtual this year since there's no visitors in the building. But um, people um, from outside of the school coming in and helping students support them with mentorship or even as just classroom projects. So um, it, there's one thing to have help teachers align curriculum and another to actually come in and work directly with students on um, projects and, and papers and things. And then the third bucket is is uh, one of the kind of exciting ones when students become 16 and 17, in other words, their junior and senior year, we try and put, we're gonna try and put everybody who wants to into an internship so they can have some authentic career preparation or career training activities doing authentic projects with, with students. And when we get to that level, the junior and senior year, there is an opportunity for um, half credit or full credit uh, depending on how many hours a student can put in the internship. And we have over 80 business partners right now from the area who are ready and willing to help students out in any of those three buckets. So that's what my job is. Um, what I want to encourage you as parents to do is look at the Career Connections web page on the, on the school website. So there's um, when you, you can get there by going to uh, student resources, parent resources, the guidance office, I'm linked everywhere. <laughs> so on that on that site, we give, give you information for students on things like tips for resume writing and um, tips for interviewing and things like that for students. But there's also some resources there for the community. And you get to see the list of our, our partners who are helping us out. So I think that's all I have, if, unless anybody has any questions. It's, it's, it's exciting work to help young people figure out what they want to be when they grow up. And by the way, if, you know, I don't expect any 15 or 16 year old to know what they want to do for the rest of their lives, because a lot of adults change their careers about every five years. So, so we don't expect any student to lock into anything. And I feel like I'm successful if I can help students rule out the, the careers that they're just like, that's not for me. And that's part of what um, the career readiness is as well. Thank you. Thanks, Leslie. Um, okay, Lindsay, wanted to say a quick hello? <laughs> sure, my name is Lindsay Eno, and as Joe had mentioned, I will be working under Joe specifically, but I'll also be working with some of Sarah's assigned uh, students. And this is technically my third year in the district. I actually started at the middle school, so there'll actually be some middle school students that hopefully will remember my faith. Um, back from seventh grade, but this will be my second year at the high school, and I really enjoyed working with the students at the high school, and I'm very excited to meet your students and excited to see some of the students I've known from the middle school, and we'll do everything I can to help them um, in any issues that they may have, and again, be a support system for both Ms. Cunningham and for Ms. Burton, and if there's any questions, don't 
hesitate to reach out to any of us. We're always available. Great, thank you so much. Um, I'm glad, Leslie, just to backtrack for a second that you mentioned about the website, because um, hopefully all of you are familiar with our Westbrook High School, you know, our district homepage, and then you can click on whichever school your, your child is in or several of them. Um, so the high school page, you know, just spend some time. There's some great information in there. We're constantly updating things. Our guidance page is pretty up to date. Um, the course guide is up to date. Uh, Leslie's page um, with the career connections is awesome. Um, so there's just a lot of good, a lot of good information on those um, on those pages that um, you might want to take a look at if you have some time. Um, so the next group of folks that I want to talk about um, in terms of our wonderful support staff um, is our support staff that includes our our school psychologist, our West, our new Westbrook High School social worker. We have a just high school person we just hired. Um, our Westbrook Youth and Family um, Services Program Coordinator. Um, these folks are really wonderful to have in our building. Um, you know, we are a small school, but we have plenty of kids um, who need support um, of, you know, emotional support, um, social support, you know, academic support, you, you name it. Um, and it's been such a crazy time in our world, and I just feel really thrilled for everyone um, to have these people in our school. So first off is um, Jenny Shefsik, and um, her last name is really hard to spell, um, but um, it's S-Z-E-W-C-Z-Y-K, um, and she is our school psychologist, um, and I am going to let her talk about um, some of the things that she does, but she is just um, a really um, important person for um, Sarah and I in particular. So Jenny, here you go. Hi everyone, thank you so much, Jill. That was a nice intro. Um, so yes, I'm Jenny Shevsik. Um, the last name is a doozy. So um, I always say, <laughs> I always tell people, call me whatever you can remember, that's fine. As long as you know what I do and how to access me and how to find me, that's the most important part. So um, so yes, I'm the high school school psychologist. I'm also the 504 coordinator. So if your son or daughter has a 504 plan or is in need of one, um, I'm typically the point person for that. And I take you through the whole process process um, for that. Um, so, you know, some of my main things that I do is um, individual counseling, group counseling, social skills lessons. Um, you know, it might look a little bit different this year, um, considering, you know, what's going on. But I think, you know, I was successful last year with um, being able to still communicate and reach out to a lot of our students, um, and was able to reach out to a lot of students who were in need um, distance wise, too. So that was I was very fortunate with that. Um, you know, I really work closely with guidance with the special education teachers. I collaborate and, um, you know, consult with a lot of our teachers here. Um, they'll seek me out if needed. Um, you know, they might refer a student to me just to kind of check in if there's something going on academically, social, emotionally, um, you know, kind of touch all bases. And, um, you know, I really try to make a presence. And um, I typically try to get into the English freshman classes to just show my face and let them know who I am and what I do. Um, so I'll definitely be, you know, a presence this year, making sure even behind the mask that people know where to find me. Um, I am in the process of updating my website as well. So there'll be information on there. Um, you know, feel free to always email me, leave me a voicemail. Um, I try to have a quick turnaround. But if you have questions about stuff, especially with all the stress and anxiety of everything going on right now, I just know that we have a really strong support staff team, as Joe was saying. And I feel really strongly going into this school year, knowing that we have a lot of support and a lot of good people to um, handle, I think, any situation that comes up. So I'm really excited to be working with our new social worker who you'll meet in a minute. Um, but yeah, so feel free, you know, to reach out to me. Um, I want to make myself available to you guys and support you guys, your families as well, because I know you guys are going through this as well. And, um, you know, your the kids are coming back to us and, and things don't just go away just because they're at school. So um, please feel free to contact me. Thanks so much, Jenny. Um, so we um, did hire a new full-time high school social worker. Um, as you, uh, her name is Sarah Marwidi. I hope I said that right, Sarah. I'm, I'm going to turn you over in just a second. Um, but 
most of the folks in the chat and in our pr um, presentation tonight um, are familiar with Corey Ehrlich, who is still with Westbrook Schools, um, but she is um, at, at Daisy in the middle school um, primarily now. So it's really nice to have our own social worker um, to help connect families to resources and to also kind of just be another person in the building that can help kids um, when they need something. So um, Sarah, I'm gonna have you tell about your background because I just met you recently as well. So I think you can probably do a better job at um, introducing yourself than I can, thank you. Thank you, Jill. Um, my name is Sarah Merweed, so you were very close on the last name. Um, I am the new social worker for the high school. I'm very, very excited to be here. Um, I will be working with the students individually in groups. Um, I'll be collaborating with the teachers and all the other support staff, as well as collaborating with um, the parents as well and providing any support that the parents might need. Um, and then also linking you to any outside resources in the community that might be helpful for um, for the families. Um, I do have experience working in a clinical day school um, as well as doing outpatient therapy and in-home therapy. Um, and I am very excited to be a part of this team. Great, thank you so much. Thanks, Sarah. Um, okay, so Kristen um, is from Westbrook Youth and Family and she is our um, program coordinator and um, I'll let you talk about your um, experience at Westbrook Youth and Family and how you're gonna help our team. Yeah, hi, so as she said, I'm Kristen Gaydecki. I'm from Westbrook Youth and Family Services and we're a nonprofit um, counseling uh, agency in town. Um, you may have heard of us, you may have not, but we are throughout all of the schools in Westbrook, so you might have come across us at some point. Uh, but we work in collaboration with the schools to provide um, free counseling services in, during the school day, as well as, um, you know, uh, groups um, and different things like that. And so typically in the high school, we also have offered uh, an alternative lunch space for students. And, you know, obviously, depending on how this year looks, we're going to try to work with, with uh, what we have and we'll try to keep that going. Um, and then we also, for the past six years, have been inviting all students to participate participate in high school life. Um, and this is just a school group which students learn about decision making, stress management, healthy relationships, and you are going to probably get a form about that. So if you want to sign your child up for that this year, then you can do that. And you know, we work really closely with Jenny as well. And Sarah, I haven't gotten a chance to meet you yet, but hopefully we can, you know, get to know you and work with you as well. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at the agency also, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Kristen. Um, and now, I sh Madeline Illinger, who is our Director of Special Education or our Special Education Coordinator extraordinaire, she pretty much is the <laughs> queen of all of our support services and who has done such a fabulous job that we did not let her retire. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she's here to help us get through this beginning of this year and continue providing services in special education um, coordination for all of our kids who need that service. So she, um, I'll, without further ado, I'll introduce Madeline. Thanks, Madeline. Oh, thank you, Jill. Thank you for that nice introduction. Uh, mm -hmm. Welcome, everyone, uh, to Freshman Orientation Night. Uh, I, I did retire, but I, I'm staying on as an interim, uh, much like like my, my boss, uh, Ms. <laughs> Dr. Pat Charles, um, and um, until they fill my position. Uh, so uh, just to tell you a little bit about our, our special education and support services, of course, you met so many of them already this evening. Um, we do have uh, four special ed teachers. Uh, who support our students with IEPs or individual education plans at the high school. And Erica is here tonight and you'll meet her um, in, a, in a few minutes and she can talk to you a little bit about, about those services. And they also have paraprofessionals that um, do a push in and pull out kind of model of services. Um, we also have related services such as um, occupational therapy, physical therapy, uh, speech and language, uh, therapy, and um, you also probably know our school nurse, which is Tina Bennett, who's our middle and high school uh, nurse. 
so um, she's also with us. Um, you already met Jenny Shesick, our school psychologist, Sarah Marweed, our social worker, um, who was in charge of the counseling services for those students with IEPs, um, our wonderful school counselors um, who track, you know, and support our students um, with their coursework and credits and um, employment. And we also have another special ed teacher. Um, some of you may know Mr. Chet Bialicki, who helps our students and supports our students with secondary transition um, and uh, for uh, employment and uh, post-secondary support. Um, so that's pretty much an outline of all of our services. Um, I, I also, you know, that, that word job, my job is, my job also, um, I support L services. So um, those students whose English is not their first language. And so nice to see Lisa Finnegan here with us tonight. And she's gonna talk a little bit about those services for that, that, that group of students as well. So we have services for all students with all needs and all different types of needs, um, which is wonderful. Um, we're, we are a, a tight group. Um, we work very closely together and um, you know, my office is across from central office, so um, you can call call central office and, and get in touch with me, email me, anything, you know, anytime, please don't feel free to contact me. Um, if, if, you're, if you're kind of stuck or we need to have a meeting or things are not going well, I'd be happy to, to speak with you. Um, and I wish your child um, a great freshman year. So... <laughs> That's about it. And, you know, I don't know if there's questions at the end, but I'd be happy to, to respond to anything, any questions anyone might have. That's great. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, yep. Thank you Madeline. And um, you're more than welcome to put a question in the chat or when we finish introducing everybody, we're all here if you have any specific questions for us as well. Um, so um, Erica Hawking is uh, one of our special education teachers and she will be handling grade nine, the, your, your students. Um, and so I will introduce her and she's been with us for a few years now and um, does an excellent job. And so Erica, maybe you can just um, talk a little bit about um, what you do as a special ed teacher. Sure, hi everybody, thanks for having me. Um, as many of us have already mentioned, I'm really excited to be working with the freshman class again. Today, I just sat down and thought about my to be juniors this year and where they were when they started two years ago and the growth and the maturity. It's just a really interesting and amazing thing to watch. So it's kind of bittersweet to know that that time has gone so quickly. Um, so I will be staying with the freshman class as a case manager, special education teacher, ninth, 10th, 11th and 12th grade. Um, I run one of the two academic assistance rooms that's in the high school. So all of the freshmen will be assigned to my room if they have an IEP that designates they have time there. If they have a 504 that requests they have academic assistance. And in the past, you know, we've had students popping in for all different sorts of learning needs and, and things that come up throughout the school year. Um, within my classroom, I've got two wonderful um, paraprofessionals and education tutors. They've been with the, the district longer than I have. So they are a wealth of knowledge in all subject areas. Um, we try our best always to answer any question that comes up in a content area for students, but we also really work a lot with the classroom teachers to support self-advocacy. So working with the students to, you know, tell us what it is that they might need help with and then helping them to reach out to their classroom teacher in that subject area to get the, the subject content and, you know, expertise from that teacher. Um, also, you know, as, as it was mentioned before, Chet Bailicki, Leslie Carson, a lot of what I do too goes hand in hand with what, you know, that group is doing as well with going out into the community and, you know, taking field trips, getting students ready for transition-based, you know, adventures and things that they get to do. Um, and also getting to work closely with Jenny Shefsick and doing some really awesome social skills intervention and work with kids who, um, just need a little bit more ex extra support for social skills intervention. So my classroom is in the wing that uh, Sarah Murray is and Chet Bialicki right next to Carrie Legg's room. Um, and you can, you'll be hearing from me soon with a, you know, a, a letter or an email to say hi. And, you know, I'm available, email, phone. So nice to meet you all. 
Thanks so much. Thank you, Erica. And, um, and Lisa Finnegan, um, who, in addition to teaching um, EL students, um, English learners, she also teaches French and she is also certified in Spanish, I believe, as well. So she is our multilingual, multifaceted um, teacher here at Westbrook High School. She's um, been at the school for quite a long time as well, like myself. And um, I worked with her a lot this afternoon on a whole bunch of schedules. So Lisa, if you could just pop in and um, tell us about, um, you know, what, what you're going to be doing this year and what you do with, for our ELs. Uh, hi, thanks, Jill. Um, yeah, so mostly I work, um, you know, I, I have an ESL class, so I'm teaching students English, and we meet the students where they are, and the goal is to um, help them in their academic classes, and often I will work with the teachers, and we'll try to figure out, you know, what the students need in order to be successful in their, you know, core classes and their other classes. Madeline has been amazing, and she has, um, last year we were able to participate, excuse me, in a lot of work with LEARN, um, you know, learning about how to work with EL students um, effectively, and um, because for, it's very difficult for them, um, because they're, you know, new language, new culture, and so we are learning, and this year we are doing um, PSYOP training, which is shelter, Sheltered Instructional Observation Protocol, which is a, it's, um, we're, we're training several teachers, many, many teachers in the high school um, to work with EL students so that, you know, everybody, your student will um, be able to thrive in all of their classes. So I can, I'm, my number one job as an EL instructor is to, you know, make sure that their um, experience in the classroom is to teach them English, but to make sure their experience in the classroom <laughs> is successful. And so I kind of also function as a clearinghouse for if they need to sign up for sports or if they need to, you know, whatever, whatever they need. Um, so they can always, you know, get help from me and I can usually direct them to the person that they that will give them the help. So I'm really looking forward to meeting your students and I really enjoy working um, with the ninth grade. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and then last but not least, I want to mention Ben Russell. He is our um, information, um, your IT, our IT guy, our information tech coordinator. I think that's his proper title. Um, and he will help with any of the IT needs that we may very well have. And, you know, your students will, may have. I know um, you know, all students have a laptop. I think your kids are coming to us with laptops already. I'm quite sure about that. Um, and so, you know, Power School, most of you are already familiar with. Um, but there are a lot, there, you know, there's a lot to do online, as you all know. And we're doing more and more since we can't do as much in groups with the kids. So, you know, the whole Google Suites, you know, we all, um, the kids are familiar with, the teachers are familiar with Google Classroom. Um, we've been meeting in the school counseling office on Google Meets one-on-one -on -one all last spring with our students. So, um, you know, we're fortunate to have such great technology and um, such a great um, coordinator. So, Ben, I'm not even 100% sure he's with us at the moment, but he is available. Um, and he is very accessible, and he also has an assistant, Tiffany Hovey, who some of you may know, who also assists with any of our technology needs. So, um, you know, we should, uh, you should be all set. If you have any questions with anything like that, just contact myself or Ben or Tiffany um, or the front office, and we'll help you with any issues that you might be having or your sons or daughters might be having with technology. Um, so I think that's everybody. I don't think I missed anybody. Um, and um, I just wondering if anyone, if any of you, any of the parents have any questions you want to pose to any of us, um, any concerns? Um, certainly our schedules are always a concern. Our school, are pretty, or the freshman schedules are complete. We will hopefully be giving them to the kids in their groups tomorrow. Um, I think Mr. Russell is going to roll over the power school so that everybody can see their schedules either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, we had a couple of sections that we had to add and this and that, so he's been working on that. But in general, the schedule looks great. Um, 
and I think the kids will be happy. We're, um, we're doing a four by four block this year. So I think most of you know about that. Um, and so it's a little bit different than it has been in years past. Um, so if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us and um, we're more than willing to hang out with you um, on the Google Meets or what have you. Um, so are there any questions from anybody? You guys, are, we're so thorough. <laughs> Please feel free to post them in the chat. We'll wait a few minutes and see if you have any questions for anyone. Um, a couple of Oh, you go ahead, go ahead, Tara. While we're waiting for some questions, um, also know that the student information packets uh, will be mailed out, so keep an eye out for those. Um, there'll be lots of information um, and more specifics in writing. Um, so anything that you would need to know um, in regard to the opening, to what the schedules look like, all kinds of um, health information, lunch information, um, commuter, uh, computer use information. It's a very large packet. Um, so please, when you do receive it, please take your time to go through it um, so you know what forms need to be filled out and returned, um, which will also help us um, have a successful start to the school year so that we have all the appropriate information um, for you as well. Um, so that would be very helpful. I still don't see any questions. <laughs> no questions? <laughs> I don't want to cut anybody off. Um, does anybody want to ask a live question if you don't want to put it in the chat? Tara. Yes. Hi, John Colpitz here. Hi, John. <laughs> this is easier than typing, so. Okay. Uh, could you explain the procedure on dropping kids off who would not be taking the bus as well as picking them up after school? Is that changed, I assume, from I last year? It, I yes. It was, saying it was changing. The location was changing. Right. And that's going to be sent out to all high school students. Um, and I had mentioned that in the reopening plan. So the buses are going to drop off in the normal location which would be at the high school main doors. Student drivers are going to park in the parking lot to the, well, when you're looking out of the building to the right um, and coming in the senior doors. And students who are being driven by their parents are going to go to the back of the building and around the turnabout and drop their students off at what we call the bank doors are kind of next to the back cafeteria doors. And all of that's going to be marked, John. Um, we're going to have, you know, signs. We're going to have people out there. And you're going to get specific directions. Um, and that was something I was referring to in the student information packet. Um, that will be all outlined in there for you. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? So I have to say, um, it's amazing to work with the staff that is here tonight. Um, you're only as successful as the people you surround yourself with. Um, and this staff is absolutely amazing. Um, they're dedicated, they're committed to your children, they're caring, they're compassionate, um, they're flexible, creative, funny, um, and I couldn't ask for a better staff. So please, if you have, you you get off the meeting tonight and you think of a question or, you know, something pops into your head, we truly, truly mean this, please. Um, especially in times like this, we don't want you having to think of things, ask the questions, give us a call, shoot us an email, um, hop on a Google Meet. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, there's nothing more exciting than starting a new school year. And although it may not look the same, um, the excitement is the same and the enthusiasm is the same. And we really want to make this an amazing 
uh, an amazing school year. Um, we've all gone through a lot, and I think we're we're excited and revitalized and and ready to go. Um, so I hope tonight was helpful. Um, again, I want to thank all of the staff and Dr. Charles um, for being with us tonight. Um, and if there aren't any more questions, um, I wish you a, a relaxing evening and uh, look forward to seeing your students tomorrow at six o'clock.